All right, hello and welcome to the Ninja Plays. I am, of course, the Ninja Sumai Ninjas. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, you might remember or know me from my other channel, Chun Ninja Twenty One, where I review Flash games. Um, since I only review, oh, I gotta crack my fingers. Excuse me. Since I only review Flash games on that channel, um, I want to do something different with games. Uh, you can play. Uh, pay for, excuse me. And uh, what a better way to do this than to start a new channel. Um, I don't get any uh, revenue from this as of yet, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, that aside, um, I decided to start a new channel called The Ninja Plays, so I don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> storylines, but I'm making another storyline because I'm a writer and I can't help it, so sue me. So, basically what's going to happen is... Um, I'm going to be playing um, Crawl Space Program, uh, Making History Gold, and maybe a couple other games. Maybe Crusader Kings 2, if I can ever get it to load, or uh, Total War. I really like Shogun 2, because it has ninjas in it. Uh, we'll just, just whatever. And probably not Crusader Kings or Shogun um, until I get this current storyline out of the way. Mainly Crawl Space Program and Making History Gold. Basically, there's going to be two types of videos. Uh, first type of video is going to be, well, three actually. First type of video is going to be this kind of Kerbal Space Program video where I just sit here and uh, explain to you um, how I made uh, a weapon or a vehicle and uh, show it off to you guys. Um, and second kind of video is going to be a Making History Gold uh, Let's Play for lack of a better word. And I'm going to, in that game, uh, you play as a power during World War II and you try to reenact history. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to try to create uh, the nations in our alternate universe and sort of make a history for how they were formed. Um, and the third type of video is going to be a battles video. Basically, a battles video is where um, I'm going to be fighting probably my brother Mars, um, if not somebody else, who made stock stuff in Kerbal Space Program. Like, I'm going to show off weapons um, that I make and... Uh, uh, Mars, <laughs> mainly Mars, weird name for a brother, I know, but whatever. Uh, he is going to make his, um, he's not very good at this game, so I made him a template. He All he has to do is put armor on a tank or something. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes, and we're going to fight each other to see who's the better designer. Um, it probably will be me at first, but um, I'm just going to make it as cinematic as possible, have a storyline and everything, it's going to be wonderful. So, uh, since this is the first type of, um, I'm going to call these the ninja, or well, I'm going to call these weapons uh, testing. Or, I, I don't know. Ooh, I call it the arms race. These are arms race videos where I show off my arms. <laughs> Look at them. They got big muscles. <laughs> and if you know me, you're laughing your butt off because I'm the wimpiest guy ever in arm strength. I, I'm, I'm ninja and other things. Anyway, so... Um, I, let's just select a random pod for now so I can show you the flags. This is me. I am the United States and Provinces of America. Uh, Mars will be the rash. And uh, other nations will come into play if I can get uh, my brother Delta in it, in on this as well. And maybe uh, a couple friends. Um, he, he liked the rash flag, so Mars is going to play as the rash. And basically, we're fighting. Uh, I'll explain storyline in a storyline video, but this is not one of them. This is a arms race. So, uh, first arm, <laughs> my left arm. <laughs> uh, I'm making bad jokes. Okay, so first up on the list is the USBA A1 Turtle. Now, this is a tank, a 100% stock tank. And if I'm not a big ding dong, and I put this in the comments, the craft file, uh, you can fool around with it. Uh, it drives quite well, actually. Ignore those random explosions. Uh, they're from that stuff over there. Um, also, um, I was testing artillery earlier today, so ignore that. Um, it comes fully functional with lights. Um, it's pretty awesome. And a working cannon, which I'll show off in just a bit. So what you do to uh, make this run properly is you go to rename, and you rename it a rover. Um, Actually, I'm going to rename it uh, Turtle A, because I think I'm going to launch another turtle and show you the weapons. We'll show you how good the armor is, mostly. The weapons are great, um, but the armor is wonderful. Okay, so now it's a rover, and I disabled torque. Um, 
So we're gonna go out for a little drive. There's, uh, <laughs> okay, so this is the turtle, and you can tell it was named the turtle because, look at it, it looks like a freaking turtle. Sue me. Okay, so one thing, you don't hit the brakes for this um, death machine. I'm calling it that because it deals death, not because it, um, you know, causes death to the driver. D-Man Kerbin, that's your name, D-Man Kerbin. Okay, so to fire this weapon, you can either hit spacebar and have a lame effect, um, which I will show off now. Yeah, freaking awesome. Or, we're to launch. You can hit the one key. Every time I say one key, I sound like I'm saying one Z. I'm not meaning to. Or you can hit the one key and have this happen. I'm gonna kind of angle it like this. Okay. Three, two, one. Much more cinematic. But you can choose. I'm, I'm gonna. Ooh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> Almost lost it there. So, um, get out of my way, you freaking light. Okay, so we are going to... Can I... Yeah, I can revert. Uh, we're going to scuttle this boat. Um, I'm sorry, D-Man Kerbin. You're going to die. Let's put on the brakes here. So I can show off our next one. Let's go to Space Center. Um, next tank on the list is a variation on the turtle. If this stupid... Oh, there it goes. And we're just gonna go straight away. Turtle was on the runway. Go to turtle on the runway. That sounds like, uh, there's like a snapping turtle on the runway. He's like, Bill, can you clear the, the turtle off the runway so I can, you know, take off the plane? Okay, take off the brakes. We're gonna try to move this stupid thing. I think we can get... Yeah, there we go. Woo. Oh, crap. The turtle turned over. This is partly why I called it the turtle. Let's toggle torque. See if we can get this stupid thing working. Disabled. Enabled. Okay. Come on. Come on, you stupid turtle. I hate that I have to rename it uh, a rover every single time. I want to blow you up, not recover the flight. Fine, fine. I think I can get away with something that on the runway. If not, I'm just gonna... It's already on the runway. Recover and proceed. Okay. Deke Man Kerman, your name is so stupid, you're going to die in our original turtle. So... See, that's the United States President of America. All right, um, we're just gonna drive D-Man Kerman off somewhere, somewhere close, so we can line up a good shot, and maybe have a little bit of tank warfare. I don't know. Kind of hoping he flips over, because the armor is, you know, what? good way to flip over. That's what happens if you apply the brakes. <laughs> okay, that happens. Uh, we're gonna go to the space center, and we're gonna bring out the Turtle XL. I would advise somebody more competent than D-Man Kerman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, Jeffrey Kerman, you have been enlisted. Uh, Turtle XL. I need to change that to the Turtle XL. Oh, I got stuck with Jeff Coat Kerman. I'm firing you, Jeff Coat Kerman. You don't succeed in this mission. Okay, so this is the Turtle XL. Um, it has two firing stages. Um, it also has the old design of the original Turtle, which I modified. Square crate. Right. Uh, G Man Ker God dang it, you stupid Kerbal. I'm gonna have your head for that. I'm gonna blow you up with the next one. So, um, so yeah, you just get a good, good angle here. Uh, you just press space, 
And he missed because he's a complete imbecile. You better not miss this next one because I swear we have issues with you. I'm going to destroy you. If you miss this next one, you're dead. You hear me? You are dead. I'm terminating your contract or killing you. There we go. That's the explosion I wanted to see. And nothing. That's that's how freaking strong this armor is. Nothing. I will actually I will blame this on the incompetence of Jeff Jeff Jincott Kerman. There we go. Alright. Um uh, breaks. <laughs> You are toast, my friend, if I can ever get... See, I, I'm too good at making armor. Somebody make me a more powerful weapon. And that's your challenge. H Arms Race will have a challenge in the comments. Make me more powerful weapons. Oh, hey, all right, Delike. Kerman, you're testing out our heavy tank. The M2 Bulldog, which I'm freaking going to rename. Can I rename this? Delete, close, launch. I can't rename it. Um, that's a feature I want added. I want to be able to rename things. Like, in the uh, astronaut complex, com complex, I'm having like a complex. Okay, so this is the Bulldog. Um, it's not 100% done yet, because the armor sucks. Um, and by sucks, I mean it, it moves around a bunch. And I can't get the missile to set. Hopefully there won't be an explosion. <laughs> I've had very, I've had some successful tests so far, and we don't name ours M2 or this A2 as an armor. That's a rover, and we're going to leave torque on to see what that does. Okay, so this is our heavy tank. Look at the armor; it slightly shifts because it's not fully attached in places because I was freaking lazy. Um, okay, no, no, no. Oh! and that always happens, so don't worry about it. Um, if you can fix that problem, let me know. Alright, let's... It, it has such a wide wheelbase that it doesn't really turn on a dime, per se. But, yeah, it doesn't turn on a dime. Okay, whatever Kerman you are, Delike Kerman has been promoted to um, Grade A Destructor. So, have fun! Oh, I forgot that thing's not accurate at all. Well, it was worth a shot. I killed you over there. Alright, I'm just gonna ram you. Let's go. See how fast I can get this thing. Yeah, let's go. My armor's stronger. Oh, that, uh, no, my armor is actually weaker. I think this is going to crean off and explode, which I'm going to do because, frankly, I need an explosion to make myself feel better. Look, I shattered the tire. All right, you're going to die. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take anyone with you. Do not. That's against company. I shattered all three wheels in that. Oh, wonderful. Am I off the... Okay. Uh, uh, which went up at the left? Stair ladder. Extend ladder. You. Uh, EVA. EVA, come on. Why can't you EVA? Hatch is obstructed? No, it's not. It's sticking out. Oh, my God. Okay. So... Yeah. Um, my armor's too... I really want something to blow up here! Is that too much to ask? I, I don't even care. Delike, Kerman, you suck. Look here. I don't care what blows up, provided something blows up. Hey, that uh, docking port is about. Okay, so let's, let's not aim for that one because that's the armor side. Um, and we need to get pretty close. So let's 
see if we can turn around here. Um, hopefully you guys can see this because I've had some problems with my recording software. And if it continues giving me problems with games like this, I will basically be very angry because that's my that's my let's play curse. It's not that um it's not that you know people oh shit. Oh and I will break my rule on this channel because I can't help it. <laughs> yes, I said the S word. So may. Alright, D Dyke, D the like, get better names, you stupid Kerbals. Alright, alright, whatever your face, Kerman, you're gonna be demoted. Son of a gun! Well. You are going to die. One of you. Dang, that armor is strong. Alright, with that tragic note that I can't destroy either of these ships, I just made the armor too good. Anyway, so I will see you guys later, and hopefully I can develop an armor buster in the next episode, because this is freaking ridiculous. See you guys.